What is up, wrestling fans? Welcome to episode number 133 of Smack Talk from SmackOutMoment.com. I am your host, as always, Tony Mango, and with me on the mic this evening, we have Mike Payton. Autumn. Sean Walker. Zack Ryder had an entrance this week. <laughs> yes, he did. He also had a flag, but he got rid of that eventually. Miguel Leon. Now, since Ryder is technically Italian, does that mean we could still consider Rusev racist? Yeah, why not? Okay. <laughs> and Steven Wago. <coughs> Just the... Eh. I guess so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> summon a summon a summon a. That's all his contribution for the night. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Right. Uh, what we're going to do this episode is break down all the matches that are coming our way for WWE's Payback pay-per-view, which is popping up on Sunday night. We're also going to do the hot tags of the week. We're going to take a little break with the rest hold. We're going to do the outro and all the other normal kind of stuff, as well as part one here, the Ask Him Wrestling Trivia Question of the Week. And last week's question was from myself. We were talking about Evolution, and we did a Call the Spot which included all the members of Evolution, including uh, Mark Jindrak. So it ended up being about Mark uh, Jindrak. And the first part of it w for the panel was which WWE superstar was almost in the football film Remember the Titans, which was Mark Jindrak. Uh, really? Like, yeah. Apparently he wow. turned down a part in that. Wasn't that filmed during... Was that still filmed when he was in WWE, or was that filmed when he was in WCW? I think WCW at the time. Yeah, because that, that was uh, late 90s, I believe. 99, 98. Yeah, somewhere around that time period. So that would have still been WCW era, I think. But Yeah, and WCW would have found a way to ruin that publicity. <laughs> uh, so tying that into Mark Jindrak and movies as well, the question for you guys was, uh, what stable was he a part of that was also named after and inspired by a movie? which ended up being Natural Born Thrillers, which is based off of Natural Born Killers, which I did not really like that movie, but uh, your mileage may vary on that. And his stablemates were Mike Sanders, Sean Stasiak, Chuck Palumbo, Johnny the Bull Stamboli, Reno, and the other part of the question was who did he win the Tag Team Championship twice with, and that is Sean O'Hare. One of my all-time favorite uh, gimmicks that was just dropped too quickly. So, who got it right and who got it wrong? We have here Watchman King 67 got it right, Natural Born Thrillers, and teamed with Sean O'Hare. Mr. Biggs, a.k.a. The Bad Guy, got it right as well with the same answer. Moro Supremo says, I don't know who is he. Well, I already gave you the answer there. And Vital Witness says, Steve Mickens and the Dreamers. I totally don't get if that's a reference to something else, but it's wrong. So, uh, <laughs> something's going over my head with that one. So, the question for this week. Miguel, hit us with it. Well, seeing as how nobody else brought a question with them, I had to salvage this, this group tonight <laughs> and bring us two questions. Now, the first question is going to be to you guys, and it pertains to the Intercontinental Championship. Who was the first African-American to hold the Intercontinental title? Ahmed Johnson. Booker T. Damn. Farouk. Uh, Mango got it right. Ahmed Johnson. Yes. Pro River Rip. Yeah, and, and, and a guy who I think could have won the WWE title had he not been so injury <laughs> prone. <laughs> I, I think not. it could have had a run. No. We're, we're, we're talking about 96, early 97, pre-Austin era. He could have had a, a small run. Michael, the only, the that was only Michael's run, time. The only run he could have had was shit going down his leg. <laughs> That's oddly <laughs> specific. <laughs> but given how dark he was, would you really know, notice? <laughs> <laughs> you're getting into Drew territory. Yeah. Come on, guys. Come on. When when has there ever been a w a, a black WWE championship? I'm um champion. I mean seriously. seriously. Now we're now we're getting into the fall territory. Now we're getting into, now we're getting into Paul White. Oh, am I am I mixing up am yeah. I mixing up uh, my characters? Never mind. <laughs> so we have next to, we, question. Yeah, yeah right, the next, next <laughs> the next question. The question I'm going to throw out to you guys is actually a two part question. Who is the youngest WWE superstar, male WWE superstar? to ever hold a title, and what title was it? Hmm. I think I might know the answer to that. And if you guys know, or you just want to go ahead and take a guess, tweet at SmartOutMoment with the hashtag AskHim, or leave a comment below on YouTube, or leave a comment on the website, and on the next episode, we'll tell you who gets it right and who gets it wrong. We're going to roll along here in part two with the hot tags of the week, so stay tuned. <laughs> 